Hello, my dear ones, for another story on Mahdi and Mina TV, a daddy time story. Make yourself comfortable. And let's look into the story, what it's all about. The title of the book is Billy Boy, The Sheepdog Years by Terry Greenwell. Dedicated to the loving memory of Billy Boy, he was a very good boy. Billy Boy, the sheepdog years, to do your very best and the best you can be in any way. Sheepdog stuff was never my thing, Billy Boy, written and illustrated by Terry Greenwell. So, let's begin. Down on the farm, Billy Boy was one of the three pups born on a sheep farm somewhere in England. It was a farm much like any other. Early mornings, hard graft, and always busy day in and day out. Caring for the livestock, Billy was not always known by that name. In fact, his birth name was Rocky. However, in respect for Billy's gentle nature, and the fact that he chose his new name for himself, we shall refer to him as Billy Boy or Billy from now on. There wasn't much that was very rock-like about Billy anyway. You see, he was more of a lovely, soft, fruit, jelly kind of a dog. You know. The kind of jelly that melts in your mouth and explodes with glorious flavors. Billy melted hearts and filled rooms with laughter wherever he went, anywhere, anytime. His two brothers were named Thor and Loki, and like their lofty namesakes, they would grow to embody the elemental qualities of fire and ice. Early on, before the brothers began to grow, they all looked very much alike. Little bundles of joyous fur, wet noses, and puppy dog eyes. Mom was a Springer, Spaniel, and Dad was an Irish Collie quite the ideal mix for sheep dog splendor well two out of the three times it seems in this particular case Thor and Loki grew and grew and then grew some more they were both broad lean muscular chiseled chisel jawed and dashing each had a penetrating gaze, a quality much needed and admired amongst sheepdog folk, as it was the key to brilliant herding. Billy grew too, but not so much. He cut a more delicate figure. Some less kind might even say is county. Billy himself considered his less threatening presence a plus point. After all, the pigs, geese, ducks, and even the rats on the farm adored him and glamoured for his company and kind-hearted convivial conversation. Fortunately, the sheep who made up the greater part of the farm's population chose to ignore him. That is something to be very concerned about for any budding sheepdog. You see, sheepdogs have a unique ability to do with that penetrating gaze mentioned earlier 
that is known in the trade as the eye. A good sheepdog can freeze any other animal to the spot just by locking eyes with it. This stare is almost magical. It is as if invisible daggers of ice are shooting through the air. Whole herds of sheep can be made to stop and move this way, move that way, reverse, go forward, or even spin on the spot if the dog desires it so. Imagine that your remote control toy are doing what you want it to using just your eyes. Billy should have had the eyes like his brothers, but it was buried too deep within him. And despite his very best effort, he was unable to bring it to the surface. Anyway, it is it has to be said he found a sheep thrifle dull and a tad stupid. <laughs> The pigs, on the other hand, knew everything that was going on. The ducks had the best gossip. The ducks could quack on forever. And the rats were just plain funny. Billy did try to be a good sheep dog, but it just never worked out. Billy decided to stop trying anymore and to enjoy his time on the farm as much as he could in the company of his many friends, of which there were many. And so Billy framed his life in a way that suited him, whilst he figured out a way to find his happy place. Quite honestly, his brothers were pleased that Billy had just stepped back from his sheep, dog, duties and the sheep barely noticed he was gone he was after all a liability out on the pastures and things ran so much better in his absence life wasn't so bad during those fallow time late morning a good old chin wag by the duck pond and time to work things out at his leisure. Then Billy had his light bulb moment. One sunny day he was sitting in the back of the farmer's Land Rover, parked up at the roadside, supposedly guarding the chicken feed, whilst his master uh, popped into his local village pub for a quick pint of ale. Sitting on a nearby bench were two teenagers, a boy and a girl, entertaining their pet dog with treats or tricks. At that moment, as he watched the pair playing with their adoring dog, whose wagging tail looked like it might just wag itself right off, Billy knew for certain that Droughty Barnes early morning and pursuing ignorant sheep were soon to be behind him. He too would be a pet with a snugly bed, a comfy spot on the sofa and a light daytime duties entertaining the kids. That's the life for me, he thought. Now to plan his daring escape. A lot, a lot of things arrive at farms, a lot of things leave farms, but dogs generally stay. Lorry, lorries, trucks, and a variety of vehicles come and go on a daily basis. It was all about choosing his moment and the right person to make it happen. There was one particular driver who always made a fuss of Billy. His name was Zane, and he traveled up and down the country and seemed to know just about everyone. Billy waited for Zane to arrive, let him do his stuff, 
Then just as he was about to get uh, into his truck, Billy made his move. A few neat tricks, some appropriate noises, and a head rub. Later, Zane figured out Billy's intention and invited Billy into the cab. So he took Billy with him. Keep your head down, boy. Let's make our escape. The truck pulled out of the bar farm yard and was soon far, far away. Billy settled down for the trip and popped his hairy head out of the cab window. The wind tussled his fur and blew away his worries and concern. His future awaited him. I know just the place for you, Billy boy, ex exclaimed Zane. The truck came to a halt. Billy stirred from his concern, uh, contented sleep as Zane jumped from the cab. We're here, Billy boy. There's someone I want you to meet, said Zane. Billy jumped down and stood at Zane's side. That's over there. It's the legendary Mrs. Barker. I think you two are going to get along just fine. Zane was pointing toward a plump woman in workday uh, work clothes. She was waving and smiling as she leaned on, the, on her garden fence. All around her were dogs of all sizes and shapes. The dogs were sporting grin to just like Mrs. Parker. Zane laid Billy to the garden gate, gave him a firm hug, and made his way back to his truck and took off. Billy watched it disappearing over a hill, and then it was gone. Miss Parker opened the gate and welcomed Billy to his new home for now. It was just a small step, but Billy knew it was an even bigger step toward a brighter future. Next installment to come. So that is not it for now. Um, I thank you for following the story. I wish you a wonderful night, sweet dreams. A special good night to my Mehdi and Mina. I love you guys. And I'll see you with the next story.